stacks. If you think there's no limits to what you can do, then there really is no limits. You can push yourself beyond what anybody's ever seen was doing. Human potential is not what people call human. Human potential can go beyond what people say that the human can do. There's no limits and uh, no boundaries. There's only like obstacles and we just, we were made to overcome obstacles. What happens in your mind when you're battling, when you're dancing, it purely affects your body. Your mentality is what focuses your body to hone in on the moves that you do. Whenever people see a limit to it, someone comes along and breaks it. And that's why I, I kind of want to do as much as I can is have people say, no, that, that can't be done, and then do it. Human potential can go beyond your mind. You, you can't even you can't even define what human potential can do for you. No, there's no limit. There's no way you can stop. There's nothing that can hold you back. Parkour is like breaking out of the system from point A to B, and you try to find yourself uh, in this world. You just become free. In Russia, it's the lifestyle. Here is the hobby. Tricking is the aesthetic blend of martial arts, gymnastics, and breakdance. It's very aesthetically pleasing, especially to people who know what they're looking at. There is nothing that you can't do in tricking. Nobody can tell you not to do this trick, or it's wrong to do this trick followed by this trick. There's no such thing. You want to flip off of that? Flip off of that. You want to jump off of this? Jump off of this. Swiss into this. Land in like this. That's why it's so different. Locking is an old school, very, very old school, back in the 70s style of uh, dance. It's basically a bunch of twirls, finger points, an intricate, funky movement. One of my favorite dance styles is uh, b-boying. I mean, there's a lot of really small movements to it that not many people know. I mean, everyone sees it, you know, everyone's just swinging their legs around and holding up their body. It's a lot of moving your hips back and forth, shifting your waist side to side, keeping your legs split at all times and trying to kick each ear. As a tricker, as a martial arts tricker, training is uh, very important to me. Uh, pretty much takes up all my uh, free time. I train every day by just like, uh, even if I'm not going outside and just jumping, I just face parkour everywhere. It's just like uh, my efficient way of thinking, my efficient way of uh, achieving my own goals and uh, my aims. You gotta learn how to discipline yourself to the point where you, training becomes natural, where your moves become natural. If you don't train, you will lose. You, you will lose what you learn. If you don't train, then you're not gonna get any better. Practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Like if you practice the wrong thing a thousand times, when you go to do it, it'll be wrong. And that's the best way to be terrible is to go with good enough instead of going with that's how it should be. Dance, music, and painting, and all that stuff I see is art because it's, it's very like you, you have something, you put it down, and the world sees it and say, requires the same creativity that you see when a, an artist like paints on a piece of paper. It's just, it's the same thing. It's just displayed in different ways. It is an art, definitely an art. Therefore, I'm an artist. If I had pencils in my arms and my legs, I can just draw in like air the cool lines that really just look beautiful. I think parkour is it's art of movement, art of displacement, where you can just consider yourself an artist. Every time when I dance, I'm telling my life story. With every move, there's a story, there's a history behind it. 
every single dance style is a monster. My goals with that is to continue to get stronger and continue to basically perfect the art as much as I can, just like anyone else should want to do. Any movement that you can make, if you can make that match the sound that you're hearing, that's when you get dense. That's when your movement tells a story. That's when your movement becomes an art. Understanding your body just means just appreciating your body. Appreciating every small thing about it. You have four limbs, you have all these muscles that all have a purpose, you know? And I think just leaving some of those purposes out is just, you're not living your life out to the fullest. talent, that ability just to talk to the body, they have to develop it through skill, which means they have to work at it. And the only way to really do that is to just do. It's so dangerous. Why are you jumping? Why are you moving? Why you are not moving? That's the question. Like, why are you sitting? Why are you playing? Why are you not jumping? Why are you not moving while you can? You're not using your body for the full potential. So yeah, I feel like all body movement, in order to be good at it, is the same, takes the exact same thing, and I believe that's not just body movement, it's anything. I feel people who are successful in one thing can be successful in anything. They just chose that one thing. It's just what you choose to be successful at. Yeah.